do this mission. Let's see here. Story. A cat boy galoy. Standing um, by. So those two look pretty good. Need starlight. It's. <gasps> oh, and I think they said fire, right? It... How can I help? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. He's my only fire character. Caught by the cat burglar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Dread of Bread. This is Illness Zen Zero. We're finishing up Nakamata's story. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation Watch and Wait is ready to go. Over. Roger that. You got it, boss. All right, Alberto. You're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. Alberto. Glad you still remember who's boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. That's not Sorry, good. boss. I had a problem with my carrot and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. Uh, you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? It sure oh, is, I boss. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're gonna get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. It's gonna be a trap. I did everything you said, sir. O okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. Meanwhile, not far away. Proxy. Ali's group is about to get moving. We should get going too. We got a boss lady. Master, please remotely assist Ali in reaching his destination. I have updated Jeez. your system with Ali's location. Please make sure detected oh. an electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked the location of the switch in your system. Let's go. It's open! Your virtual assistant is useful after all. They actually won't let me move the camera up to see. Ethereum! We can close the door with that button over there so Ollie will know he should switch paths. <sighs> Miss Nicomata, your help from afar is invaluable. No worries, just keep going. Leave the rest to me. Uh oh, we're gonna have to fight, boss. I really like that. She kind of looks all over the place and she's like, I gotcha. I'm in. Got it. Alright, so there's a little thing back here. We're ready. I don't know why my allergies are bugging me right now. They shouldn't be. Roger. Yep. Damn it. Get him. Get him. Turn the dust. Good job, big man. Oh, uh, my little bing boom got stuck back there. Hold on, chat. Hold on. We were fine, and now all of a sudden, my allergies are like making my nose run like Niagara Falls. No problem. Got it. Just try me. Get him. Oh, he Roger. didn't have his thing. I thought he had his Get. thing. Get him, Nakamata. 
I want to save her thing in case there's something that like, you know, a boss or something I have to take care of, you know what I mean? It's a good thing. Let's get him. Unexpected ambush. Wait, should shouldn't all the bandits be where the bandits was set? Why are they still here? You and Nekorada have a bad feeling about this. But you need to find them, find them, and defeat them first, and then interrogate them for answers, if there's any survivors. Because the Red Gang don't leave no survivors. That's why they're called the Red Gang. Boxes full of loot. Boxes full of loot. Boxes full of loot. No boxes full of loot. Makes me say it. Boxes full of loot. No. You got it, man. No problem. Don't you throw crap at me. I throw crap at you! Got him! I thought we were supposed to be interrogating these guys, so why are they turning into the dust when we're done with them? Good job, Ben! Roger. Out of your crap. Get wrecked. No problem. Look, I had a samurai helmet on, I think. Throw nothing at me. Got him. I'll use my special next combat chip. Weird. <coughs> it's here. I guess we're not going to interrogate them. about it it's gonna be a combat oh, oh shit gang set us up we fell into their trap uh oh special event what what's going on i thought there were only supposed to be a few of them covering the sale this isn't good we're outgunned don't Everyone die! Calm. Just calm down and get ready to yeah, make a break for it! You coward! Don't you think it's a little late for that? Boss, Oops. we rounded up the officers, except for the one leading them. So, 
This is... This is what you had planned all along! Ye! <laughs> of course it's a trap! Never thought the hunter would become the hunted, did you? You... You... Don't tell me you... Set it all up! We're a gang making a living stealing ether resources. We always know where the grass is greener. Killer job like that pops up on internet? <laughs> you better believe we're gonna look into it. If you ask uh -oh. me, your mistake was being way too eager to get what you want. <laughs> and trusting the word of a gangster. Uh oh. Anyway, we'd be rude not to accept such a fine gift from public security. Right? Right. What are you? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Already shaking with fear. Now, how did a coward like you end up making captain? Why does he got band-aids on his All jacket? Right, captain, it's time for you to take the stage. Call up your main force and come up with a reason for them to withdraw from the resource site. What? Got it. No. No way. We're gonna I beat him up. No. Do you still not understand the gravity of the situation? Help us get this batch of ether resources, and I'll let you live. Isn't that a good deal? What about or all the other guys? Would you rather wait here with these officers, waiting to be fed to the ethereals? Man! Ah, ethereal! No! Don't! You can't feed me to an ethereal! <laughs> hey, boss! I think Ethereals really freaked this guy out. Yeah. Captain, call up your guys right now. The boss's patience is running out. No, I... I can't do that. He can't, and he won't. I... I don't want to be eaten by an Ethereal, but... I... I don't want to lose my job either. Oh, it's about his job. Contact the main force, I'll be fired, and my life will be He doesn't care about the ruined. other guys. So what you're saying is, it's better to just end everything here and now. No, I... God, that's not what I meant either! What? See, walls and walls of text. What I'm saying is, I know another way to get the etheric resources without having to involve the other officers. Huh. Is that a fact? Sure you're not just, uh, making stuff up? Yeah. Oh, of course not! Please! Please trust I'm an orphan and was adopted as a kid. I brought up a whole load of siblings all unrelated to me and I suffered so much over the years. I thought becoming a public security officer would mean having a decent job. But after all these years in the department, I've mostly just been sitting on the sidelines. I'm not that young anymore. And this operation might be the last chance I ever get. But seeing as oh, it's a doom anyway, oh, really a bad guy? I should really think about myself first and foremost. As long as the department doesn't know I'm responsible, the blame won't fall on me, even if the ether resources are lost. How surprising. The kid really does have Ooh. somewhere to live. Unless he took advice from Nakamoto right, last time. Then. Lead the way. On the other side. Damn it. I knew something smelled fishy. He was always set up. The gangsters tricked Ollie! Yeah. Well, it's already happened. So all we can do now is adapt and respond. But what do you two think about what Ollie just said? I think Ollie defected to the bandits. Ollie must have a reason for what he's doing. I think Ollie must have something planned. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Remember? Back when we first met Ollie, he was terrified. But he still didn't reveal he was actually a public security officer. Yeah, he's yeah. that good. Like she said, he may be unreliable, but he's got more backbone than I thought. And did his speech to the gangster boss sound familiar to you too? Yeah, it he's was a hers. Guy. He's definitely planning something. Let's follow him and see what he's up to. Okay. Come with me. Over there. So well behaved. Keep an eye on the area for me. Bye, boss. Oh, boss. Where's Ollie taking the gang members? Proxy, let's catch up. First, we gotta beat this dude. Fight him. We're gonna fight him. And then we're gonna get our stuff.
Let's go, Nekamata. Then you're too slow. I'm sorry. No free loot. Where's my free loot? Just try me. It's Get the all the right We crushed every single one of them. Good job, Ben. Gotta beat this dude. Cause he's got the area on lockdown. Can't have any of that. Let's go, Nikamata. I still don't know why she has a uh, scanner barcode on her head. I'm in. Just try me. That was kind of weird. Ooh. Oh, shit. A hot pocket of doom. Let's go. None survive, Ben. Thank you. I'll take it. Standing by. That hit both of us, I think. Dang, boo, you're too slow. Any good stuff. Get him. I knew there was gonna be secrets chat. Any more secrets? No. Wait. Is Ollie trying to tell us to use the switch? Yeah. Special event. We've arrived at our destination. It's Great. the final what destination. This, this seems pretty far from where you sash your etheric resources. Please, just hear me out for a moment. Uh oh. When I was out here earlier, laying out the resources, I, I discovered this weird spatial displacement phenomenon nearby, happening intermittently. Are you saying all we have to do is just wait here, and a spatial displacement will bring etheric resources to us from who knows where? Yeah. Yes, just. Just a little bit longer, and a miracle is going to happen. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you getting all sweaty? It's an ethereal. What's that sound? Boss, this... This isn't good. Ethereals! There's so many. Where'd they all come from? I... 
I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Quit being a baby, Ben! On the other side. So Wally took those gangsters to where he got attacked last time! Looks like he wants the ethereals to weaken the gangsters to create an opportunity for us. Very nice. See, I like it when the short is uh, the story when the sh when the story is like this, where it's it's organic and it's fast paced, and it's not just walls and walls and walls of text to pad out the gameplay. We shouldn't let his efforts go to waste. Come on, let's get after him. I mean, I do I do enjoy this game. There hasn't been much of that, but I feel like because there's only three three chapters right now. Um, that they did pad out some of this just to make it longer. Holy balls. Let's go. We're gonna have to fight. Row, row, fight the power. We, we finally wiped out all the ethereals, boss. And how many of them died? That sneaky little cop gets you, Alberto. How dare he try this kind of stunt on me? I'm gonna skin him alive. He's over here. We've got him. He might make a good Come night, here. Lord. <coughs> I took you for a jittery coward before. I didn't think you had the guts. You let us that horde of ethereals hoping they'd take us out. Bet you never thought a bunch of gangsters like us could take them all out, huh? No. I actually thought of that, but I... I knew this would be enough. Uh -oh. What do you mean? Make some sense. You played into his trap. What he means is, now I can take you out all by myself. Let's go, Nicomana. Huh? You guys want to try too? Evade now. Good job, Ben. Saving my special for the big guy. Oh. Use the piss off a of bear if you shoot him with the pew pew gun. But first, loot. Loot. No loot. Why is there no never any loot? Give me loot. Love you, Ben. You big bear man. You just hit him with all your heavy equipment. And then you catch him on fire. Cut up. How much longer are you gonna bug me? <laughs> Until you all surrendered, of course. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Dream on. Huh? What? Oh, it's this part. He's just one girl. Take her out. <laughs> Watch out. This was a promo.
groin. Would you care to say that one more time? You stupid cats! Yeah, nice Necromata, Necromata. Miss Necromata, uh, Proxy, you, you really came. You oh, did. Oh. Ollie, pull yourself together. Ollie, pull yourself together. Things are safe now. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm okay. I'm... Those gangsters almost tore you to pieces, but you're still fixated on the Ethereal? But you really are something. Hey, man. But Anyway, Fears aren't easy to get over. You did a pretty good job just now, Ollie. That's right. If you hadn't thought so quickly to use the Ethereals to weaken them, Nekomata might not have been enough to take them out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, now that I think about it, that really was kind of unbelievable, wasn't it? My mind just about went blank once I realized we've been double crossed. And I don't know why, but I suddenly thought of what Miss Nekomata said before. There was a Turn little bit your of personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. Yeah. So you figured out the way I do things and trick those gangsters the same way I would have. Great work. And thanks to your quick thinking, your lies went a whole lot more smoothly this time. It's because what I said wasn't all lies. No. Oh. Well, didn't you tell me that it's best to mix in some of your own personal experience if you want to get someone to believe your lies? Well. I really am an orphan. I was the oldest kid at the orphanage, and I really did have to more or less raise a whole load of siblings, all unrelated to me. The reason I chose Argyles was because of the free tuition, due to family finances. Oh. If your finances were so bad, why didn't you go to a company-affiliated school? I have heard lots of company-run schools offer scholarships. Yeah. And with your ether aptitude, you probably would have gotten some more lucrative job offers once you graduated. Some orphans who get out into the real world feel shackled by self-doubt or the distressing memories of their early years, and they happen to find themselves on a path irreversibly in pursuit of money and survival. Uh, of course, I don't mean to say anything bad about people like that. After all, it it is what it is. Yeah. But as an older brother, I never want to see my younger siblings like that. I wanted to become a public security officer so I could stand with my head held high and tell them we can all become amazing people. Good job. But <laughs> I'm no role model. I've done nothing really after all these years. I mean, I've never even been awarded so much as a simple commendation before. <laughs> no wonder you were so intent on getting some recognition before. It was all because of this. Yeah. But I think your wish just might have come true. Huh? Good role models aren't defined by the accommodations they're awarded, but by the actions they take. You showed ingenuity and bravery during the mission. You not only saved public security from losing those ether resources, but you also arrested all those criminals. Good job. Are those not the actions of a good role model? Uh, really? I did all that? You did? You sure did. So keep your head up high. Your brothers and sisters, they're all going to be proud of you too. Anyway... Everything's settled for now. So, we'll leave the rest of it to you public security officers to handle. A happy and successful end to our cooperation. Yay! Uh, I don't know if I'll get a bonus this time, but I'll pay both your fees as soon as I get back to the precinct. I'm sure you'll get your bonus. But, as for my cut, I don't want it. Uh huh? <laughs> uh, oh, she has a heart of gold. What are you talking about? I said you don't have to pay me! Pay the proxy. Check your bonus and buy those kids something nice. Kids who grew up with nothing cherish whatever gifts they're given. This is just... It's... In that case, let's split the remainder. But Ollie, we have a condition. Remember what you said today. And keep being a good role model for those kids. Yeah, don't let them turn yeah. out to be poo -poo. And if I ever catch even a sniff that you've gone crooked... Then you can bet I'll be the first one after you. Thanks so much. I promise. I'll definitely. And just like that, the curtain finally closed on a successful operation. We did it, chat.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was Nekamata's story. That was her story to the fullest. We went over the 30 minute mark, so one week later. Oh, we'll finish this up. Roxy! It's me! Welcome. Come to work off some of the cunning hair's debt? Yeah. No way. I just came by today to bring you some fresh fish. Gross! Wow. The fresh smell of a new scheme. Don't be so suspicious, you two. They're from Ollie. Ollie sent this? Isn't he a public security officer? Where'd he get so much fish? After he was told he'd be getting his bonus, he said he went back to the orphanage last weekend. He went ahead and told them all the presents were for me. So all the kids went out fishing with him to say thanks. Oh, they thanks. were fish. Isn't that fantastic? Fish is your favorite. Well, yeah, but don't stereotype us sirens. Sometimes we want a little variety. Something nicer. Like steak. Or crab legs. Anyway, I've got way too much now, so I want to share some with you. Take half of it. I insist. Just in the door of the video store opens. <clears throat> uh, and be you. What are you doing here? I'm just returning a tape. Ah, oh, proxies. That's a lot of fish. One of Nekomata's friends gave them to her. Uh... Hey, Ambi, <laughs> what do you mean by... Huh, nothing. It's just a little surprising you have friends who give you gifts. Not like the rest of us cunning hairs. Well, well, of course I do. Because I'm actually super popular. I bet they gave her the fish. Enough to call me a role model for the cunning hairs. Yeah, the very role model of a cunning hair. Huh? You just agree. Just like that? <laughs> so? Uh, it's nothing. Ugh. Why do I feel like all this was a waste of time? I'm going back to the cunning hairs now, Nekomata. You coming? Want me to carry some fish? Okay. We'll be going then, Faithen. See ya! Yeah. Well, all things considered, the commission ended pretty well. How about fish for dinner tonight, Wise? Yeah. Gross. Nekomata finished speaking and leaves. Wise, why did Nekomata just say she wanted his, uh, Why did she say a waste of time? It's all because of her original goal, right? Oh, I remember now. When Nekamata first got in touch with us, it was to get the poker face to knit Nekamata. Is really a role model for cunning hairs. But if Nekamata hadn't invested so much time in the case, she wouldn't have made friends with Ollie and gotten fish from a friend. She wouldn't have had a chance to brag to Enemy about how popular she is. Yeah, so I think that's all Nekamata did was a waste of time after all. Oh, yeah, so I don't think. I misread that. I also got free fish, which is gross. I'm going to throw it in the gr uh, the trash. I don't like fish. You're right. We're going to do... What are we going to do with all this fish, though? I don't think we can eat them in all a meal. How about trying a few different mission dishes? Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty, chat to the people over on YouTube, but that is the 30, well, we went over the 30 minute mark by 6 minutes, but that was Necromata's, Necromata's, not Necromata's uh, story. So we'll see the people of YouTube later. Bye-bye, people of YouTube.